Uh, so the hits youth football players take on the field can follow them for a lifetime or even cut their young lives short. Colorado has a law that's designed to protect kids from hard hits. Attorney and Denver 7 reporter Jessica Crawford is breaking down how parents can be sure coaches are following this. Jessica. That's right. I don't know if you've heard of a kid named Jake Snakenberg, but he played football at Grandview High School about 20 years ago. And when he took a hit that claimed his life, his mother vowed to help protect other kids who play sports too. So now in large part because of her, there is a law that coaches have to follow to keep your kids safe when they're out there on the field. First things first, they have to learn the ins and outs of concussions, but that's not all. For young gridiron greats, the future is wide open. But as they fight for a win on the field, parents like Kelly Jance are fighting for their the safety. In 2004, Jake got up at 6.15 in the morning in anticipation of his freshman football game. He loved football and all it offered, the physical challenge, the spirit of competition. Jake Snakenberg was a 14-year-old Grandview High School student. Jake drank up life like it was pouring from a fire hose. In 2016, his mother, Jance, told his story to Congress in a hearing on concussions well, in youth sports. He had suffered an injury where his arms and hands went numb and tingly. Um, what he described to us sounded like maybe he had tweaked his neck or strained his neck. He hadn't lost consciousness. He didn't see stars. Um, it, you, you wouldn't have associated it with a major type of injury. Jan said Jake never told her about any headaches, but later on she learned he did complain about them to his friends. Days later, on September 18th of 2004, he took a hard hit during warm-ups before a game. And when the game began and he lined up for a play, Right before the snap, Jake stumbled forward. A whistle was blown and they called a penalty and a flag was thrown and, and Jake got up and started to come to the sideline and then stumbled and went down again and he never got back up again. Jake was airlifted to a hospital but ultimately passed away. Jant says his cause of death was second impact syndrome. Since Jake's death, I have made it my mission to continue to raise awareness of the consequences of concussion in youth sports. Her mission leading to the Jake Snakenberg Youth Sports Concussion Act. The Colorado law enacted in 2012 requires middle and high school coaches to complete annual concussion education. Coaches must immediately remove concussed athletes from games or practices. The athlete can't return to games or practices until they've been evaluated and cleared by a medical professional. Kids will get concussions more that once they have a concussion, it is managed appropriately to give the child, the youth, the opportunity to truly heal and not have long term uh, deficits. So you got to re realize that from birth until about age 28, our brains are developing generally. Jeffrey McWhorter is a chiropractic neurologist. He says it can take time and effort for a young person's brain to heal after it's been injured. Specifically through uh, very specific treatment protocols based on where the deficit is, help retrain that brain back to its normal seat of function. And so this is to test my equilibrium or to restore my equilibrium? This is treatment. Even then, sometimes walking away from the field could be the only life-saving measure. By far the hardest part of my job is having to tell people that are work their whole life for a certain sporting event to take place that maybe they have to sit on the bench or maybe it's time to hang up the helmet. There is hope that more people can avoid those outcomes. A 2017 study indicates that when laws like Jake's law are passed, there's an increase in the number of concussions that are reported. And about two and a half years after their passage, rates of recurrent concussions significantly decline. That's according to the Colorado School of Public Health, leading to the possibility that more lives like Jake's could be saved in the future. And headaches, poor balance, nausea, those can all be signs of a concussion in your child. So make sure that you stay in touch with your child's coach and your child's doctor about any symptoms that you're seeing. If you still don't believe that your child's coach is following the Youth Sports Concussion Act, then you can have the ability to file a civil lawsuit. I'm Jessica Crawford, Denver 7. Thank you, Jessica. And this, of course, all comes as the NFL changes a key element to its concussion policy. Now forcing a player to leave the game if they show any poor muscle control, which of course is often associated with concussions. 
And this all comes about after a recent Miami Dolphins game when their quarterback, Tua Tunga Vailoa, sustained a hit that made him tense up immediately. His fingers locked up. It was really scary. And since then, the league and its players' union opened investigation. And after releasing the findings, the NFL implemented the concussion policy change immediately. And then that's footage there from the Jets game where they're Quarterback Teddy Bridgewater, who is his backup, also had to Down. leave the game with a concussion injury.